you telling me like out of fifteen like thousand emails or whatever, John Groot is the only person they caught like saying some crazy stuff. They're protecting other people. They got That's it. What I'm I'm, I know the owners for a fact. Some of these owners done said some crazy shit and they covering up. Motherfucking Jerry Jones. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking about. Jerry he Jones is, himself. Bro, I can't wait till they go through them motherfuckers though. <laughs> hey, I'm talking about dog. Cause look, look, look. I know he got some shit, but you hey, feel me? That's what I'm saying. Cause y'all remember when <laughs> Black Lives Matter first popped up? Every owner done said something except for Jerry Jones. And let me tell you something. Separate let me tell you something. Jerry Jones. This that man ain't out of fuck then. Your quarterback <laughs> is black. Your running back is black. Bitch, by 80% of your team is black. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Retired Athlete. It's your boy Lowe's. It's your boy Darren. Yeah. It's your boy Frank. We got a special guest today. Uh, Our boy Zoe, he back in the building again. What's yes, up? sir. Zoe Smith in the building, baby. What happened? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, today, man, we got another exciting episode. We got some good topics for the day, man. Hope y'all boys enjoy it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Retired Athlete Podcast. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, honestly, I want to get into the big topics before we get to the little topics. Let's go ahead and start off with should Kyrie continue to stand up for himself? Let's start with Zoe. <laughs> All right. So uh, Kyrie Irving, bro, like me personally, I think Kyrie Irving has been a problem for a long, long, long time. So, yeah, a lot of people have been going at Stephen A. Smith about going at Kyrie. You yeah. feel me? And I actually agree with what Stephen A. Smith been saying as far as, like, Kyrie Irving at this point, bro, is just him being a distraction. Like, I don't, I don't see it as him standing for himself, bro, because it's too much um, people who got vaccinated and were going through, like, the whole Tuskegee um, – little experiment that they had. Um, I think it's called, what, the Tuskegee Syphilis uh, Project, something like that. Yeah. But it's just people like her, you know, who actually went through shit when it come down to shots or whatever the case may be. And she ended up getting vaccinated. So it's like, it's not even, you know, a, a thing where Kyrie's standing up for himself, bro. It's just a total distraction at this point. Mm. There's. For Kyrie, I agree. Kyrie is a drama queen. I'll give you that. Yeah. But right now, like, yeah. it might like 50 50. You feel me? Because at the same time, dude, I'm going to get vaccinated. You don't want to do it. He really to walk away for millions just not to take the shot. And at the same time, I said, bro, you being like a de stressor to your team. You know, your teammates need you. Like, Z plus B, all yeah. But. Like a 50 50 with me. But he should keep on doing it. He want to believe. He don't want to take the shot. Hey, be a man to the whole end. Grab your nuts. Do it, bro. Mm-hmm. Say, hey. um, what I got to say about it, I mean, I'm kind of 50 50 too, but at the same time, I actually understand where Kyrie is actually coming from. I feel like you shouldn't have to be forced to be vaccinated to play a certain sport. Like, for example, in the NFL, they're not forcing NFL players to take the vaccine. However, though, a majority of the team is COVID pong. You have to forfeit that Sunday game, which that, I mean, I'm still against that. But I mean, like, it is what it is. But haven't yet, nobody had a lot of players on the team get COVID and whatnot. So, for instance, I think that's kind of what Kyrie kind of going with. Like, well, okay. You got other sports, but they're not forcing their players to get vaccinated. But however, in this basketball world, everybody has to get vaccinated just to play. And, and it's a distraction at the same time because, like, this is supposed to be the Brooklyn next year. You still got KD and, and Harden. This, this is this supposed to be their year, even though last year was also their year. But the only reason why they didn't have the chance to even make it as far because of injury. So this year is supposed to be a bounce back and actually go get what they deserve. And with him pretty much being a distraction to the media, distraction to his team, because he don't want to do something that he probably be a force. That's why I see his distraction. But other than that, as him standing up for himself, saying that he don't have to be best age to play, he'll sit up if he has to. I support it, honestly, because I actually feel that. You shouldn't have to be forced to do anything that you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. That's just how I kind of see it. 
Okay. Uh, usually, I would stand with uh, what Kyrie's doing with the vaccine because um, everybody has their own choice and decisions. Uh, but Kyrie has done stuff like this like too many times in the past. I, yeah. I, I, I gotta, I gotta be on him, bro. Like it's too, it's kind of too much like attention to the Nets. This point, maybe he should get the vaccine because I feel like I feel like he's eventually gonna um. He eventually gonna fall into it because, like, who was that one player? Who was Wiggins who got the vaccine? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Might it might end up like a situation like that. So this whole like I'm not getting the vaccine thing might um be a little bit too much drama because um like I I don't know I, I I can't see Kyrie not like playing. He he eventually gonna get that itch, and you know the, um that's on that's on a mission to win a championship. So yeah, I think Kyrie should stop. I, I don't I don't like making people like you know go against their beliefs and stuff, but like I think he he wants to he wants to play more than he he's gonna go against that vaccine stance. Yeah, honestly, I kind of do see him eventually getting vaccinated because I think the season start tomorrow. So yeah. do it. I, but I, I personally see him getting it. Oh, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. No, but what I was saying was that it's like at this point he it's a total distraction at this point. Yeah. Because it's like, bro, it, you have no excuses to do that shit. Like, it ain't got shit to do with religion. You feel me? Like, if we being realistic, what is Kyrie religion? <laughs> that is true. Kyrie that is honest, Kyrie. Dude, that's a good question. Real, like, if, if we being realistic, nigga, every Baptist Christian that got a real job, you feel me, that's making real money, nigga done took this vaccine. So I don't understand, like, what religion have to do anything about it. Like, nigga, it ain't like they injecting pork into your ass, but just take the shot. I don't. I don't heard Kyrie say some weird things, man. He don't say the Earth was flat. Yeah, this, he was, he was on live with weirdo, KD. Bro. He was like, he was like in a different universe. He was KD. I was like, what, what is this man saying? But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> Kyrie don't care, bro. <laughs> that's, man. that's the thing about Kyrie. Don't Kyrie care. doesn't care what anybody think about him or what they say about him. Kyrie <laughs> gonna do Kyrie things. That's just how Kyrie is. Shit. He the only he nigga that can like, he sell him out like every single day. I I cannot go like I don't even watch ESPN, but I follow Stephen A on Instagram, bro. Mm. And it's not a day that go by I don't hear Stephen A selling out Kyrie. <laughs> Cause Kyrie is worth selling out, bro. Like, all right, like let's be realistic. The whole I know that's my shit. Let's be realistic. But no, no, for real though. Like this man Kyrie, bro. He's been like this. Since LeBron helped him win a championship, bro. Exactly. He like, oh, nah, this is mine. I won this by myself. Or when it was time for him to go, nah, I feel like I need a team that I could lead by myself. It's just like, nigga, please, bro. It's still yet haven't led a team by himself. He went to the Celtics, ain't really did nothing. Bro, he fucked that team up completely. Yeah, he did. He did. He, did. he definitely did. That team didn't need him. I like. Not at all. It. Like. Isaiah Thomas have yet to get another job, bro. All because of this trash ass dude, bro. He trash, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, he he, he did mess up the Celtics, bro. Because ever since I see Isaiah did not have a job ever since after that, bro. Like he haven't had a consistent job somewhere where he actually can say he can call it home for a year or two. Have it because he always in and out of somebody organization. And he's not even trash. He's not. It was kind of like almost the same thing, like in, in the NFL. When Tebow at the Broncos had his first year to shine, took him to the playoffs, won the mm-hmm. ALC West. The next year, Peyton comes comes down there to Denver. Tebow out of there. Tebow ain't had a job. And now, ever since, Tebow went through a couple position change, tried to play tight end, got released after the first week of preseason. So. Yeah, <laughs> the boy so played like, baseball. <laughs> We're doing his thing. But I ever know, <laughs> Kyrie is not Peyton because Peyton got Denver the ring. Kyrie mm-hmm. ain't getting the Celtics the ring. Still haven't got his own range that he truly said that he won by himself. Haven't yet. So, bro, didn't Kyrie like took like two or three weeks off last season, and the set came back and had no reason for why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He drama cream, bro. Like, yeah, he did. <laughs> He yeah, different. Yeah, Kyrie, Kyrie different. got away with that. That's my thing. I'm like, wow. Kyrie don't care, bro. <laughs> he don't. Literally, Kyrie don't care at all, bro. This like, man real dude said he want to start his own best ball league, just like blacks only type of this. I said, damn, bro. Man, that nigga going to be playing by himself. <laughs> this man don't care, bro. bro that, I, I, I respect Kyrie because he don't really care. 
But at the same time, bro, sometimes, like, even me, because, like, Darius and Frank will tell you better than I will. I don't really care about nothing. But I do understand sometimes you got to care about certain stuff, bro. Especially yeah. your job. Especially your job, bro. Sometimes you're going to have to care about your job, bro. Because if you lose this job, what other job are you going to fall back on? Because there's not going to be another job you can find just like that today. This is like realistic jo- world. Like, yeah, you're a millionaire. But if you do know, if you retire right now, and you just go to spending all that money, you know you're going to be broke. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> no, that like, man, that man make it generational. Work, bro. All you see is M. Like, literally. I don't know. Kyrie make it generational wealth. I don't know if he can wave that though. Yeah, that he he pretty rich. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, yeah, he's like, he got a decent yeah. circle that ain't gonna let him, you know, go broke. So that's the main thing about it. He got a good circle. His his religious and uh, um what what you call it? citation? His religious and citation. He ain't gonna go broke. Yeah, he he straight. <laughs> he good. But hey, that was our take on. Kyrie, you guys let us know in the comments what y'all think. Do y'all think Kyrie should continue to stand up for himself? Or y'all think he really doing the most and should just get vaccinated and play basketball and help his team win the championship? You guys let us know in the comments. But yeah, play ball. Yeah, I honestly, honestly, man, Kyrie, just go play ball, bro. Honestly, man. Just get vaccinated and play ball. Any day that, that vaccine ain't gonna hurt you. It's not. Even though, even though the vaccine that vaccine had killed some people, when they had people thinking that. Oh, yeah, you'll be straight from COVID. Yeah, when COVID had another outbreak again, a lot of those people that was vaccinated died. So, I mean, that's probably why he kind of not don't want to get it because I, I, I see that too. But we're going to go ahead and get into our next topic. Did John Gruden scare others into hiding? There. Hell yeah. He <laughs> 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 man scared them to hide. I see John Gruden as a guinea pig, bro. <laughs> that would happen. I see that man as a guinea pig. You know, okay. Oh, John Green emails came out. What would happen? <laughs> this man, this man, that man, son. Yeah. All those NFL coaches, GMs. Let me be fun, bro. We know they racist, bro. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know they racist, bro. <laughs> he had to cover up. No, they went too hot. Him, why but John? No, I believe most people are thinking, bro. That we not even, bro. We not even Steven. He still didn't get one boy captain his job. He still didn't happen yet. Facts. Honestly. Oh, we fired. Right. Look, look what we did to John. Fuck John, Ben. What about captain it? <laughs> yeah, why captain general got a job? Y'all let y'all let. Honestly, I ain't mean to cut you off there. I ain't even cut y'all. I gotta kind of get this shit off my chest. Y'all let a racist mf'er get a job before somebody that's actually defending his race get his job back. Mm. And Captain be out of a job for about five years. Grew to get a job, and y'all just now look into the email he sent ten years ago saying the Boris Smith got lip size of Michelle and tires, bro. <laughs> Why the hell y'all been ain't say nothing to John Gruden in 2011 when he first put that email out? Why y'all have to wait 10 years to just not say something? And I'm when sure niggas saw that shit. Four years <laughs> job, Monday night football job. Like, nothing happened. Like, life is good. And, and you know, he going on about his day like nothing happened when this man was being racist in 2011. And no, I'm pretty sure. players. <laughs> Hey, I'm pretty sure nigga saw that shit. It was like he do got some big ass lips. <laughs> let that shit go. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's racist, but I kind of did laugh because I'm like, bro, that is rude. <laughs> that is rude. That's something I can't even think of to say, bro. Like I can't think of something that rude to say to somebody, bro. That's Ooh. why I kind of find it funny at first, and then I looked at it to it, boy. I was like, oh yeah, that's racist because them tires are black. They black as shit. So <laughs> if he had just, just said that like one time, I'd be like, okay, maybe it's like you know how you just yeah. roast the people in football practice and stuff. Yeah, like, okay, maybe it's just one though, but like it's just like a lot. I like that. And more emails. Yeah, he had out. more to say, bro. But all, it, it's crazy. We all know he had more to say in that email. They just pointed out that specific line that he said, and yeah. then after that, this man a perfect too. Y'all seen what y'all seen with him in the um? I think it was the gym at Washington. Over here exposing pictures or getting pictures of cheerleaders and stuff like that, dude. Uh, yeah, you bro. Like, old bro. Gone, coach. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That dude, bad news, bro. 
Come on right, now. Bad news. Bad news, man. They made Riddle set Ellis Smith up. He set him up. <laughs> <laughs> but a different topic, you feel me? But for the chilling is, bro. At that for the chilling is, bro. Come on, up. man. Y'all, y'all some old goons. Y'all about like 60, 70 years old. Try to see some naked pictures of some 20, 30 year old cheerleaders, man. Come on, Yo, bro. Yo, don't they got wise, bro? Yeah. They old and rich, bro. <laughs> Plus, bro, white. they old and rich, bro. They play it, bro. It's just like it's just like the shit was learning in school when they say well, you fat, you wealthy, bro. These niggas are skinny and wealthy and can think they can do whatever the hell they want because they rich. So that's a new day we living in, bro. Like, but I can not say this though. I do believe Jean Gruden kind of opened the door for more racist individuals in the workforce and the NFL because he just because he got exposed, there's still a quite a few now in every other organization that's racist and just haven't got caught for saying what they said. But he definitely did open the doors for them to actually get out and say what they say. They're gonna lose their job if they say what they say. But he did kind of open the doors. I wouldn't say he high enough, cause they are high right now. But eventually, we're gonna we're gonna hear somebody else come out with a racist slang too. It's coming soon again. So you but, John, just a guinea pig. Yeah, he, he went the test Ready lab. <laughs> Nigga, the leader of the pack right now, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, I don't think I think more people are gonna actually start hiding even more because they see that he got his job and they're like, nah, I ain't trying to be part of that. But my thing is, like, this all got started like in Washington, right? Mm -hmm. It kind of started in Washington, yeah. When it first broke out, it was kind of in Washington. Washington yeah. popped it off. All right, I'm, so you telling me, like, out of 16, like, thousand emails or whatever, John Groot is the only person they caught like saying some crazy stuff. They're protecting other people. They got That's it. What I'm I'm, I know the owners for a fact. Some of these owners done said some crazy shit and they covering up. Motherfucking Jerry Jones. Yeah, that's exactly who I was thinking about. Jerry he Jones is, himself. Bro, I can't wait till they go through them motherfuckers though. <laughs> hey, I'm talking about dog. Cause look, look, look. I know he got some shit, but you hey, feel me? That's what I'm saying. Cause y'all remember <laughs> when <laughs> Black Lives Matter first popped up. Every owner done said something except for Jerry Jones. And let me tell you something. Separate let me tell you something. Jerry Jones. This that man is out of fuck thing. Your quarterback <laughs> is black. Your running back is black. Bitch, by 80% of your team is black. You only have about 20% of those boys are white. He's and a modern like, slave hey, owner, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> tell him out, bro. Tell him out. He is a true That's slave owner. Jerry... Yeah, Jerry Jones is a modern slave Hold owner, nigga. The pictures that came out yesterday. Y'all cowboy fans got to explain it, too. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but that boy Jerry Jones, what happened yesterday? Nope. He was so happy he'd kill somebody. I'm just saying. Yeah. That boy Jerry Jones, I'm <laughs> serious. Uh, as, far as, as far as John Gruden, bro, I couldn't wait for that shit to pop out, man. I always knew he was racist, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Like... That, but, you know, hey, that's Chucky. You feel me? Like, Chucky, he a ruthless individual. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like, what's, what's crazy is that, like, like you said, like, John Gruden can't be the only motherfucker that's been racist exactly. and talking shit. You know He's what I'm saying? Like, so for me, it's, it's like, you know, hit, hit them, um, them, not GMs, but the owners first. You feel me? Like, start yeah. up top, just like y'all do the mobsters out here in the hood. You feel me? Like, Start at the top and then try to trickle your way down. You feel me? It's 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 a lot of racism in there, and it's like they, it start yeah. it start off with the with the scouts and shit. You feel me? And it's like that's what people don't understand. Like the scouts meet the player first. That's where the first little racist incident happened. You feel me? Because they checking your body out. Oh, is this guy? You know, does he have the body to to work for us? And what does that sound like? I do this. That do sound messed up. All right, that shit sounds like slavery, don't it? Oh yeah, he got the he got the the right statue. He got the right built. You feel me? It's, it's it's little sneaky little words like that that they used to say back in the day. But now they say, oh, does he have stamina? Does he have a reach? You feel what I'm saying? Like it's it's just little things that they switch up as for sports that they used to say for selling slaves. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like with that being said, it got to be so so many emails, so many you know conversations to where it's just racism is all over the place. So I remember a comic book made, like, I think they were back, like, in high school or middle school, I forgot. But the comment was, it was, like, a white high school coach. And they were, like, losing games, right? And the comment he made said, 
if I had black kids on my team, we would be running games. I said, whoa, y'all niggas yeah. really feel like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, but if we had some more black kids, we'd be running. It's over snap. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the thing. Honestly, I've been feeling like this. I've been feeling like this for the fucking longest. Excuse my friend. I've been feeling like this for the fucking longest. I feel like these white people, not all not all white people, not trying to sound racist or nothing, but I feel like white people only use us black people for what we're good at. And what we're good at, sports, us being athletic, and the fact that we're strong as hell. So, like, it don't even matter if you're skinny, fat, plum, whatever. Bro, us blacks are really strong like that, and we can actually do anything because it's us. So I feel like they be trying to just use us for our work, and we can't do something. They kick us like it's box of rocks and find somebody else that can do it. And and because of that, that's why I feel like, bro, we're taking over the world right now. And it's not because ever since Black Lives Matter. It's because of us building intelligence that we're starting to learn the game or we're starting mm-hmm. to see a lot more black businesses Started seeing a lot of black people go work for other black people because they don't want to work for these people because we already know they using us for what they know us for. They're not they're not using us for the kind of person we is outside of what we can do physically and athletically. They using mm. us. They 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 gonna use us because of our intelligence and what we can do. That's why you see a lot of people, a lot of black people, honestly, not really working with other folk. But sometimes we come down, we try to get that check because you got family, you got bills to pay. The stuff like that. You gotta go work wherever you gotta work. But mm-hmm. other than that, that's kind of how I feel for the longest, bro. Like we're being used for what we could do. We're not being used because of our intelligence and whatnot. They still see us as dumb, dumb pieces of rocks and shit like that. They don't yeah. think we're smart, and whatnot, because all they see us do is just sit out here and kill each other all day, fight each other all day instead of help each other grow or whatnot. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what they see us as right now. Yeah. I mean, dude, we're their, we're their entertainment. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We've been their entertainment for, like, forever. You feel me? Like, since they even brought us to this motherfucker. So it's like, with that being said, it was just like, it go from uh, Bojangles to mm-hmm. motherfucking Bo Jackson. You feel me? So it's exactly. like, all through the board, bro, we've just been fucking entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's like, once they realize that we are not the same as what we used to be, that's when they want to get rid of us. So it's just like, man, it's just some bullshit, really. Um, cause it's like, look at look at Peyton Manning. You know what I'm saying? This nigga had an obvious decline. Look at Eli Manning. Yeah. Obvious decline. Cam Newton fuck up two games. Oh, he need to retire. You exactly. feel what I'm saying? They were screaming exactly. for Cam Newton to retire before he even had COVID, bro. He just had like a fuck up in one game, and then they were just like, oh, they need to get rid of him. And I think it was like this year, some retired ass bum who played for the Patriots, he was like, oh, they need to get rid of Cam Newton because he's always dancing during pregame or celebrating when he makes a completion or something. Mac Jones doesn't do any of that. I'm like, bro, just say you racist. Just, just say that say shit. That. You and know? just say that you don't like seeing a black man celebrate his accomplishment on the field, bro. Yeah, so I mean, exactly. Bro, that's something that New England don't have, and they still don't have that shit. So when mm-hmm. Cam Newton came to and delivered the entertainment, like, every first down, yes, he's dancing. Of course. Why not? We just picked up a first down. And we scored a touchdown. He goes celebrate with his teammates because why not? They just scored. Now, you mean yeah. to tell me y'all not used to that? See, that's the problem, bro. They, they just used to that old pitch's way. And that's why Tom Brady honestly left, bro, because it's not really fun there. Honestly, I can say that's one of the reasons why he left. But it, it's a lot because it's not really fun there, bro. They make it so boring. Like, bro, if I was in the league, I got drafted by the Patriots, I'd probably be ready to leave after my first year just seeing how boring this shit is. I wouldn't mm-hmm. want to play for an organization that's so boring. Yes, they so rich and they got six rings and whatnot, and they're a winning program. But if I'm not having no fun, what's the point of playing? Uh, and and like like that's not what the environment I would want to be. I would play with I would play for the Jets so I can play for the Patriots. And that's me. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I would and the Jets is booty. So Don't even care about that winning shit. It's just the fact that any day win lose, these things go out here and have fun, bro. And that's <laughs> what it should always be about. But hey, that was our take on did John Gruden scare others into hiding? Now we're going to go ahead and get to our next topic.
who were in the Cardinals undefeated season? Let's start with Darius. We know that we already know who Darius gonna say. Go ahead, Darius. Yeah, already know. <clears throat> the Almighty San Francisco <laughs> 49ers. Oh. Face it. Got on our resume, bro. The Cardinals have beat every team there and there by a blowout, put us on much. So, Except for y'all and the Vikings. Yeah, or put up like high number of points. When they beat yeah. us, it was 17 10. We had like a Ricky QB. Come on now. And then about it, right? I know what man wants the game. I'm not going to count to you. I was just irritated. <clears throat> but we had Kyle Murray running for his life. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, most definitely did. Y'all most definitely did. We had that man running Kyle for his <laughs> life. I can't do nothing with y'all. We messed up that man's shoulder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we messed up that man's shoulder. They would call him man and cry baby on social media, bro. Oh, but Kelly Murray can make plays. He always get injured. Ooh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we had a bone lockdown. But I'm pretty sure the reason they did something because they had, like, D-Hop hit wide receiver car. I'm not saying, but most of the passes he threw... He just threw that bell up in the air and they caught it. Our DB sucks. I can't really say nothing about that, but. Yeah, hey, our DB, DB sucks. This is buns. Yeah, they, <laughs> they trash. Suck. I hate going to lie. Like that. I don't know what the hell happened. I think, yep, Sherman departed. Y'all got ass. That's what happened. Sherman yeah. left. Y'all got trash. <laughs> <Those> niggas ass. <laughs> but I don't believe we the beat, though. That is. Man. What's up, Zoe? Who you think could beat the uh, Cardinals right now? Oh uh, man, that Batman, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. That man, yeah. Aaron Rodgers, gonna tell y'all the ass off. I'll tell you what. <laughs> um, I think, cause, cause that's the thing. Cause y'all gonna run straight through the Texans. You feel me? Cause you know the Texans is is buns. Y'all need to figure that shit out. Y'all know damn well Deshaun Watson ain't touching none of them little stink, dirty, filthy holes. You feel what I'm saying? Put my boy back on the, You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. throw that shit away, bro. They, like, they, they know what they doing. As soon as my boy was like, oh, I'm ready to get out of here, all these allegations started to come up. Y'all know y'all little trash ass did that shit, man, trying to throw a little something in the news. Yeah. Yeah. Feel that you feel me? Like, that's that's what I'm saying. It's the same thing with the Colin Kaepernick, nigga. Y'all trying to blackmail niggas when they don't want to do what the fuck y'all want them to do. But that's why I said it's, it's like our athletes not only need to be protected in basketball because Rich Paul got that shit to where it's like they go into these motherfuckers offices and tell them, hey, you pay me for this if you want my services. Right. We need that same thing for football, bro. The moment we get something like that for football, it ain't going to be none of these weird ass allegations that y'all making up. Exactly. Because that's the thing. It's like the way Deshaun Watson carries himself, bro. He not man. Come on, man. Y'all know what it is. So, like I said, y'all going to beat the Texans because it's a lot of... I mean, the Cardinals are going to beat the Texans because it's a lot of uh, stuff going on over there. Mm-hmm. They ain't mm-hmm. focused on football. So, the next thing is the Packers. When they play the Packers on Thursday night football, mm-hmm. they get smacked. Yeah, uh-huh. And that leads me to say, y'all, hey, that bad man that said, I still own you. I still own you. Yeah, Arizona. We'll see how we eight. We'll be right there in Arizona to kick that ass. I'll tell you right now. They can go ahead and beat Houston right now. They, But I do know, and everybody do know, if Deshaun was playing for the Texans right now, they record would not be no one to five or whatever it is right now. Mm-hmm. They're actually pretty decent right now because that's Deshaun team. And it's hard to defend a quarterback like Deshaun that can scramble and throw the ball. So. But they're gonna smash, they gonna smash Houston, and whatnot. They're gonna smash them, but Houston been getting smashed ever since they beat the Jazz. So mm-hmm. it, it I mean, who's the Jazz anyway? Really say. Yeah, and plus they beat the Jazz. That was the game where I thought the Jazz was gonna win. But the Jazz let me down. So <laughs> but however though, they go but however though, week eight in Arizona, Thursday night football, there's no way I see the Cardinals beating us. Only way I can see them beating us is and we had that same kind of game like we did against the Saints. Just come out there, just want to get our ass beat. That, that's the only way I, I, I see us losing. Because these last five games that we played, we've been on the road. There was no stopping our offensive score, and our defense was doing their job. So if we could contain Kyler and put up more points in Arizona, 
we good. We're gonna beat them. So I ain't really worried. Arizona can have this little fun of being undefeated and whatnot. But hey, when we come to town, bro, that shit gone. It's bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, Frank. And I'm, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of the Cardinals. You know, I, I always throw shade here and there. But I actually, and I know you guys, you know, you, y'all have the Packers and y'all have the 49ers. But I actually think the Cardinals stay undefeated for a little longer. Let me explain why. Because, uh, you know, they for the trash the Texans. That, that ain't going to be nothing. And when they go, okay, so they're going to have the Packers, right? That's a Thursday night, right? And they're mm-hmm. going to Arizona. I don't know. That's a, that's a, oh, man. That's that's a short week. I don't think they can get the job done. It's gonna be, they're going to barely survive that matchup, though. I'll say that. See? Uh, Nah, the Cardinals, the Cardinals. I mean, the Packers ain't being the Cardinals on that Thursday night. If it was a oh, Sunday, then I say yeah. Got, if it was a Sunday, and, 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 and even if it was in Green Bay, I pick the Packers. You know, it feels oh. in Green Bay. You know, they damn sure ain't beating us in Labo. Uh, but like, I just, just because it's Thursday night and it's in Arizona, I can't, I can't see that happening, bro. They're not gonna beat the regaining MVP, bro. I just can't see it, bro. We it's just we nah. finished trophy by three fifty and four touchdowns on their ass, man. Seriously. Hey, defense not really that good. It's just. I see it actually being a shootout. It'll be a close game. Yeah, it's just that I think the I, I say that for sure. It's a short week. Both teams will have a short week. It's all about who's going to be mentally prepared and physically ready to play. Uh, who the Packers play before that? Who, wait, who y'all next game? Who, oh, Green Bay? Ah, uh, damn. I got to look, bro. Matter of fact, we mm. just about to get to predictions. Because you still haven't said who will win that game. I think y'all got Washington. Who's who gonna beat the Cardinals this year? I'm getting there. I was getting there. Okay. Oh, yeah. go ahead, continue, continue. And there's Nate, okay. And there is yeah, there is your 49ers, you know, the second there. I don't think it'll be enough. But that will be a close game because y'all then see West be tough. Come back, we I think the Panthers gonna do it. The Eos not gonna do it. There's not gonna do it. But the Rams will beat the I mean the Rams will beat the Cardinals. The rematch. You know they're not happy about it. Huh? But you know, but you do know the Rams go to Arizona this time, right? They had a chance yeah. to beat them in LA. No more Cardinals beat LA. them in LA. If they, if, if they can beat them in LA, then um, LA can beat them in um, Arizona. Yes, yeah, uh, you know, I actually that about that it's just the same way with the Seahawks and the 49ers. If the Seahawks could beat the 49ers in San Fran, 49ers can't beat the Seahawks in Seattle. But I'll say this though: if they did lose to the Rams. I can see the Colts upsetting though. It'll just be a trap game. I do. T- I have the rounds being the Cardinals. Put it like this, mm-hmm. man. Put it like this. If when it come to us, to the 49ers homeland, I promise you this. <laughs> we might end up injuring Kyle. We might end up injuring him. Like we did, what, the last year? Where he took him out the season, messed up his leg with knees. We messed up something. At <laughs> this time, <laughs> we messed up his shoulder. <laughs> This man have a long game ahead of him, bro. He not surviving this season. Exactly. Yeah, that 49 is D line, bro. Y'all be raping shit. I ain't no cap, bro. <laughs> See what did the Don't Nobody Brees wanna has. block that four down lineman, bro. Don't nobody wanna block them, bro. That boy Bosa is a bouncer. Oh my god, bro. That boy came straight from Ohio, bro. I, I, hey, look. He, I from, he came out game of the four- as a He played us, played Tampa. Man, listen, man, I'm like, God, leave Bosa, boy, Bosa. If only it was at Ohio State, I wouldn't mind you terrorizing everybody else because I didn't care. You play for us. Nah, you play for the opposite, the, um, man. Yeah, he went what? to St. Thomas Aquinas uh, down here in Florida. Yeah, he definitely school. did. Him and his brother, Joey. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I, I definitely fought with him, though. They fought the boys. I definitely fought with them. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know too who my favorite. I still like Joey, bro. I remember what Joey did when he was at Ohio State. He was one of the reasons why we got that championship in 2015. Hell yeah. Who y'all think better, Joey or Nick? Um, that's too close to call for me personally. Yeah. Yeah, Nick, Nick, I think might, Nick have might be it. Nick, Nick might, might be a little it. bit better. Nick might have the edge a little bit because Joey had been injured here and there. Mm-hmm. And I think he missed the whole season last year. So, yeah, he missed some time, is. hella time. Joey and they also as fuck. <laughs> yeah, Joey Joey be throwing three fuck. niggas around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think honestly, I could say Joey's strong as hell, and Nick finesse game is just is out mm-hmm. of this world. Out of this he just world. Slippery. Yeah, I fuck with Nick, bro. Basically, Same. we played on Same. what happened. We played the long um, Vikings in the playoffs, bro. They man got Andrew. They do jumped up, stop. Rolling out, bro, shaking the head, talking to you. I said, damn, bro, this man different breed. 
Oh shit! Hey, y'all heard? Um, they said Odell might be going to the Packers. Oh yeah, I heard the trade rumor. Talk about it. Hey man, I'm just saying. Is that breaking if, news on the podcast? Oh, <laughs> if I'm just hey. saying, if he do it, it's a wrap. If we go to hey. the Packers, if we go to the Packers, right. and the Packers being the Cardinals for real. This podcast, Odell. Hey, if you come to Green Bay, just know you are gonna help that bad man out even more because now you are gonna take a lot of pressure out of Devontae. And you get to get the ball more. I see Baker ain't giving the ball like that. I see that. But, we, you know, I, I know Baker, your partner, and whatnot. But, hey, man, listen, Aaron Rodgers going to get you the ball, bro. Think about it. Think about it. Go in that office, tell him to see you the Green Bay, man. Just go in there, tell him to see you the Green Bay, bro. Bro, and that's yeah. why I personally love Aaron Rodgers because he give his receivers a shot, bro. All his receivers. Every last one of them, bro. You could be an unknown guy. He'll get you the ball. Yeah, yeah. He leads his receivers a lot. He dotted too. They'll do to go to the Packers, man. I'm, I'm I might cry because like that's 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 one more. Cont- okay, I didn't think they could beat the bus, but like if they get OBJ, then I'm like, oh, now I'm scared. That shit won't be fair. Nah, I still, honestly, I still don't think I don't think Green Bay can still beat the Bucks though. Yeah, remember that D line, bro. Ooh. That D line and, and Green Bay offense line still not strong enough to hold up on uh, on that um D line. Oh, yeah, because no. them fat boys ain't holding up that line. Yeah, but last year. At the same That's time, playoff game, they were struggling to score. They're struggling to move the ball. At the same time, they might make up a game plan with y'all. Everybody like, come up with a game plan for us, like honestly, every other team. The game plan, the real game plan is honestly is to get the ball off fast, short routes only because we can't really cover the flats. The Bucks can't really get to the flats fast because why we just sit here try to throw too much uh, stunts, too much looks or whatnot, blitzing looks. And the problem with that is when we do that, it's easy to get the ball off fast to the running back. It's easy to get off to a quick screen, tight end, receiver. Because why? We're not really worried about the flats. We're not really worried about the quick game, bro. So, honestly, I think Green Bay do got a game plan to where they can run the quick game. Especially they get Odell, they can most definitely run the quick game for real. Because yeah. Odell is just explosive, bro. <laughs> He's explosive. Yeah. It's a small note, but I just hate when Tampa Bay put a D line in the coverage. Every time that happens, that running back is running up the sideline and scoring. Yeah, okay. Now one of now one of our linebackers cover other than that. I could probably say Joe because Joe is younger, so he could probably keep up. I don't see him get burnt too. But you see him get burnt already? Uh, um, that the Gaskins from Miami burnt him. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even watch that game. I was at my girl crib. No, no, was I her crib? No, I was. Stop him Bro, him. you know where Odell should go? Where? He should definitely go to um, what? Uh, shit, Minnesota. He, he should go to uh, Minnesota. <laughs> oh, <Dan laughs> <Shut up. laughs> the 49ers. <laughs> Shut up, Danny. <laughs> but nah, nah Minnesota, Minnesota would be a perfect fit, though. Yeah, that would be a great fit. Cause look, him and Justin Jefferson. On the other side of each other, and then you know Justin Jefferson gonna listen to OBJ. You feel what I'm saying? Open them boys, LSU boys. You, boys, you feel me? Adam like I'm feeling that slot. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, man. it changed the QB. Yeah, you he, he ain't gonna be able to guard me to sub. They get Odell, bro. It, it's impossible. Yeah, Dalvin Cook at running back, bro. Team. Yeah, Kirk Cousins might be a problem. Yeah, yeah. with that running Kat game. Kurt, yeah, Captain Kirk. I think Captain Kirk is a problem too, man. Cause he gonna have Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, and OBJ. That boy Kirk Cousins, man. That's why I'm like, what's what's up with some of these quarterbacks? It's like a lot of these quarterbacks are literally recycled, dog. And my nigga cap at the crib. Literally, bro. Like Seattle could have been called my dog phone, bro. Seattle could have been called his phone. Washington could have been called his phone. The Jets, they know Pitt Wilson not even like that. Don't know why he drafted Pitt Wilson. You could have called his phone too. He's yes, booty, right. bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he is so booty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. I don't know why. The, hey, Frank, you know that man trash, bro. This man with the man, he, like, he, he, what he got, he got no, we- he got no like, weapons. He got no weapons. He got no O line. He got no running back. He literally don't got anything. Oh, can we please keep it 100? They're going to put up the same side. Can we please keep it 100? This shit is obviously white privilege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I ain't, I ain't never disagreeing with that. My nigga, like, I have never, I have never wanted to say this shit so bad. Like, okay, Zach Wilson had no business getting drafted before Justin Fields. We all exactly. know that. You feel me? So when Justin Fields shit kept going down, and I realized Zach Wilson shit kept going up as far as uh, draft stock, it's, it's pure white privilege. Literally. Because before... Zach Wilson was even in that conversation. It was Trevor Lawrence go at one, which everybody knew that because Trevor Lawrence was the best quarterback in college football at the mm-hmm. time. So we, everybody had to respect that, that no matter what, whoever get the first round pick, the first pick of the draft, they was picking Trevor Lawrence. But mm-hmm. number two was going to be Justin Fields. And then three might have been Mac Jones, Trey, uh, Trey Lance. But Zach Wilson was never, ever in a conversation. Ever. As the top four best quarterback, he was never in that conversation because it was always Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, and Matt Jones. That was on the candy play because BYU was having a, a okay season to where like you know they probably lost maybe one game that year mm-hmm. and they lost a freaking unranked team. Like I can't take, I can't take them serious at all. I, I can't <laughs> think that was the serious. And for the fact that his draft stock went up as high as it did. For him to get drafted number two to the Jets, me, I don't care. I don't care. He's a buzz, bro. I don't see him taking the Jets in no playoff. I don't see him winning. No rec- <laughs> They swear he was Joe Namath. Yeah, that boy Mark Sanchez, bro. For real, way better. Mark <laughs> Sanchez is way better than this bum. What the fuck, dude? Where is Bill? Hey, let's go ahead and get into his last um topic. Is my phone four <laughs> percent? Let's go ahead and get to week seven predictions. Call it a day, y'all boys. Y'all ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do it. All right. So oh, by the way, let me know. Let me let them know the records. Okay, right, go ahead. Let the world know. I went eleven to two last week. Darius went eight to five, and I went ten and three. I want the recount. Hey, yes sir. Eleven to two, boy. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's start because we got my favorite team. So we're going to go ahead and go Bears, Buccaneers. We're going to start with Zoe. Uh, I got Bucks. Darius. Tampa. Frank. Bucks. And I got the Bucks. All right. Broncos, Brown. Darius. Uh, yeah, I don't know what. I'm going with Broncos on the upset. Oh, you sleep. I'm going Browns. Yeah. I'm going Browns, Zoe? too. Oh, Frank got Browns? Zoe? I got Browns, man. <laughs> yeah, that boy Darius sleep right now. <laughs> oh, well, we got a good one at 1 o'clock, though. Kansas City, Tennessee. Zoe? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, man. I might have to go um, Titans. Yeah, I might have to go Tennessee as well because it is a home game for Tennessee, so I might have to go Tennessee. Frank? Wait, hold on. You got tennis. Y'all got the Titans beating the Chiefs? Bro, yeah. bro Kansas City is not going to stop. I, I'm going to be real with you, Frank. That defense ain't stopping nobody, man. It's not stopping nah, nobody. Defense. Still, I, I, see, I think the Chiefs, like, being down before uh, before halftime and then, like, winning the game towards the end. Yeah, but I, 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 highly, I, I highly doubt it. Okay, I'm going I'm to put it in this perspective. If Tennessee go up by 14 points or 17 points, I don't see Kansas City coming back this time. I don't. Because all they got to do is clean the ball. Just run the rest of the ball. With. Honestly, but that, not not all these NFL teams that smart. If I was a head coach, we go up by 17 <laughs> points on Kansas City. I don't care to blow them out anymore. Honestly, I just care about any of these games that they don't come back. Because I know they got the potential to come back. They do got big Derrick Henry back there. Exactly. Yeah, just true. run the ball. Hey, Coach Mike Verbell, if you're watching this, Take my advice. If y'all go up by 17 or 14 points and it's late in the third quarter, run the ball the rest of the game. Kansas City is not going to stop y'all. Y'all might even score f- two more touchdowns. But, but who's going to stop Julio Jones, though? Exactly. And who's also going to guard A.J. Brown? Me, nobody. And then Danny uh, Swanson, he, he, he a safety, right? Yeah. The fucker can't play safety. So that's oh, why I'm going to get a bird over the top. He's a linebacker, damn it. <laughs> like, you remember what they did with uh, Mike Barron? Yeah. Exactly. It's the same thing. You do that same thing with Barron. You, you make him a hybrid, 
either like a, a third safety or that outside linebacker, bro. You don't put his ass at no safety spot. He gonna get bombed no, no. and get burnt. He, and plus, you know, you know, he ain't no damn safety. He, honestly, I, we all play Madden here, right? And mm-hmm. I'm probably the only one that that adjust their alignment by speed, adjust their depth chart by speed. That MFR ain't nothing but 84 speed. He's never <laughs> seen my field playing safety. I don't even play like that. I, I don't put no 84 speed safety back there for me. So I know John Lynch wasn't no fucking 84 speed. Nah, I know he wasn't either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got more <fun> moving. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, but he reminds me of uh, Chris Conti, though. Conti. Oh, yeah. man. Conti reminds me of everybody get burned. Conti be getting worried. Yeah, I hated Chris Conti. <laughs> Bruh, that, hey, remember, remember when we had played the Steelers on Monday night? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I turned that TV off after you guys had Steelers. Well, my, my <laughs> hey, my granddad cut that bitch off, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought that bitch was so bad, bro. I'm like, hey, I'm not watching the rest of this shit. Hey, All right, my, got that time. <laughs> my granddad said, man, these motherfuckers suck a nails. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! But hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get back to it. So, uh, Frank got Candy City, Zoe got Titans, I got Titans. There's, yeah, I go with Titans. All right, hey, we got Darius' favorite team going against the Packers, man. Football team Packers. We're gonna start with Darius. Oh, I already know. It's a blast. Uh, I go with the Packers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know who I'm going with. I'm going Green Bay, man. Zo? Yeah, I got Green Bay. Frank? I got Green Bay, too. All right. We got the Panthers Giants, Zo? Panthers and Giants? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, Panthers. Yeah, I got Panthers, too. Man, I called Panthers the last two weeks, and they lost. Please don't let me die again. And if y'all yeah, do, bro, I, it's I, the I fucking Giants, rest. dog. Literally, bro, the Rams just dropped 38 on the Giants, bro. Carolina, I ain't even asking you to drop 38 on them. I'm just asking y'all to win. That's all I'm asking for. Frank? You got a Panthers. Giants being though. Everybody gone out on that team. You got Panthers. Darius? We got Carolina on them. Dang, you was a whole Jones ain't doing nothing, bro. You not? <laughs> yeah, that's also uh, Frank's favorite quarterback, man. A bus right there, too. Wait, te- wait, you talking about Ted Bridgewater? Nah, Daniel Jones. Oh, he is booty. Yeah, he a bust. I don't, I don't think he's that good, but I don't think he's that bad. But I think he's just average. Like, that's the thing. Like, he he probably going to get built up like uh, Eli did. Because, you know, we all thought Eli was sucker, too. Yeah, we definitely did. No, Eli had hope because his last name, bro. Good <laughs> 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 paying many, bro. He had hope. <laughs> all right, we're going to go ahead and go um. Jets, Patriots. Uh, I got the Patriots. That, that, that's not even a question to ask. I got Patriots. Mm-hmm. So, man, I'm going ahead and say it. Roll Tide, baby. My boy Matt Jones. Mm-hmm. I got the Patriots. Darius, I got the Patriots, bro. Frank, my bad. My phone's ran. Who, who, who was the game again? Jets, Patriots. Jets. You got Jets. Patriots. Oh, oh. Say, it sounded like you said Jets. They almost hung up. All right. All right. Falcons, Dolphins. Um, there's. I mean, I'll go with Atlanta. Yeah, I'm going to go Atlanta too. Um, Zo? I got Dolphins for the upset. All right. Frank? Falcons, Dolphins? Yep. Falcons. All right. Suppose we got game of the week. We got four and two versus five and one. Start with Frank. We got Bengals Ravens. Uh, where is that? Baltimore. Yeah, that game in Baltimore. Uh, Ravens. Yeah, I got Baltimore. Zo. Ravens. Darius. We got the Ravens. All right. Hey, I think everybody finna call the same team on this one. Uh, Lions Rams. Darius. <laughs> <laughs> Rams. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rams. <laughs> right? Rams. Y'all know who I got, man. I ain't got said, but I got Rams. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Eagles, Raiders. Uh, I'm going to have to go Raiders. Frank? Uh, Raiders, yeah. Darius? 
Same. The Raiders. Zo. Eagles. Eagles. All right. I think everybody going with the same team on this one, too. Texans, Cardinals. There's. Uh, I got the Cardinals, bro. Zo. Cardinals. Frank. Cardinals. And I got the Cardinals. All right. Sunday night football. We're going to pop Darius off because you already know what the drill is. Colts 49ers. Go ahead, Darius. 49ers. Frank. <laughs> Colts 49ers. Yep. Hey, oh, no, 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 I got Colts. Oh, he's going to upset. All right. All right. Yeah, I got Colts. All right. Hater, bro. So? Well, my brother Zay Rogers got his first pick on Sunday, man. Congratulations, my dude. But, yes, yeah, sir. I'm going with the Colts. You know what I'm saying? My boyfriend get another pick, though. I'm telling you. Um, This is a tough game, honestly. I really don't know who to pick because both teams look sluggish. But however, though, sorry, Darius. Better go Indianapolis on this one. Maybe you speak on the dogs, bro. Now I have to go Indianapolis on this one, man. Uh, yeah, and Jimmy G ain't finna do nothing. He's not. I mean, that defense. You know, they want it. Even though they two and four, I just Wait don't Wait a see minute. It. Who said Jimmy G was playing? If Jimmy G wasn't playing, I'm going to San Fran. So I like Trey Lance. I like Trey Lance. Honestly, I do. I don't. No? Oh. No. Whoa, hold Whoa. on. I'm going to tell you, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like hey, Trey Lance on. like that. Oh, hey, we, hey, ho, we're going to say that for last for the Darius <laughs> and Zoe argument on Trey Lance. We're going to say that for last. We got to get this last game in. Thanks, okay. Seahawks. Let's go ahead and start off with Zoe. Um, I'm grabbing the Saints. Yeah, I'm going to grab the Saints, too. Frank? I'm fine. I got things. <laughs> <laughs> Darius? I got the Saints, bro. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Zoe. Darius, knock this shit out, man. Let's go. Yeah, I don't I don't. Really oh, let me like grab my popcorn. Like that, man. This nigga. <laughs> because, nigga, like, what? you got to think about it. Like, this entire time, we're talking about a guy who only played, like, probably, like, one, one game the last season of his senior year in college, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I ignored that and was just like, okay, let's see how he do in the league, bro. Like he he's ready, but it's just like give him that season to sit behind somebody to learn. You know what I'm saying? And then put him in there. Like he's not ready to just be out there right now. Oh no, man. Definitely need that experience, man. Because last time I checked, they made Lamar sit all the way throughout the season to the playoffs and put him in like in hot water. I feel like just like the Lamar experience they doing right now. Cause that boy Trey Lance got potential. Okay. Dude. I mean, I I can agree with the the potential part. I can agree with that. Like this man right, had impact our team every time he got in. Mm. Last game, I wasn't mad when he played the Cardinals because he went out against Cardinals undefeated. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad about that. But it been showed a sign of potential. Like he gonna be that deal. He keep on improving him. That man pocket right. presence. He will buy me on my homes and wrestling. Hmm. It, it, it's due. That man not got them scared to take a hit. Like Jimmy bitch ass. I don't know why, but you not scared to take a hit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I got my tape before you guys keep going. Um. Uh, I do actually do agree with Zone on that one. He did only play one game in senior year because of COVID. And honestly, did like me and Darius would tell like I'll tell you, I'll tell you, like me and Darius at first, we wasn't really rocking with Trey because he played at North Dakota State. That yeah. too. I wasn't just a Fields. I can't to. really take them serious because they don't play big D1 schools like Bama, Ohio State, Maryland. Great. Everybody else, like they just play in a circle. So like that, uh, I, the same way I felt about Trey Lance is the same way I felt about Carson Wentz. But Yo, Carson Wentz, yeah, because they both went to the same school. So, exactly. but however, though, however, though, like all the reason why I'm starting to see more potential of Trey, it was more so preseason. I kind of bought in because, like, I'm like, okay, cool, maybe North Dakota State actually do get their quarterbacks NFL ready. Mm-hmm. Cause like like when he came in and just this is just preseason, just preseason. This man was doing his shit. 
Yeah. But I remember when he first played Kenny City in that first piece of the game. This man, what? Like, three plays in, he threw a touchdown? I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Bro. And then when they played right. the court in the regular season game, uh, his first play in was a touchdown. That was so good, I'm like, bro. Bro, got potential. And I feel like it's going to be – I think it's like a Lamar experience, uh, experiment with Trey Lance. I think he might – I think he might actually get the starting job towards the end of the year. Okay. For me – As uh, Lamar Jackson, his rookie year. Okay. For me, I, I, I still see um, Carson Wentz. Uh, productivity in him, you feel me? Because we got to yeah. be realistic. Carson Wentz was snapping at the beginning of his career, right? Exactly. But it's like at the same time, nobody knew who he was. They didn't have any, uh, what is it called? Like um, any film on him, you feel me? So they couldn't learn how to set their defense up against him. So it's like if we're being realistic, Trey Lance and Carson Wentz never faced a top tier defense. Exactly. Not at all in college, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like once. They got enough footage on Trey Lance, bro. Trey Lance is all butter bread. You feel me? Fresh out the oven, nigga. It's up for taking. Exactly. Wait, hold up, hold up. That would mind okay. me too. Preseason. This man went up against Kansas defense. Whole first string defense. Kansas oh, City defense might as well be Baylor University. But that's the preseason though. Nah, Oklahoma. Right? Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking last week, they made one against the Cardinals, bro. That, you know that defense is fucking good, bro. Mm-hmm. Especially yeah. with Chandler Jones and JJ coming at him. He handled himself well during that time, bro. Oh, you get my most respect. He going to be a son in the future, bro. Jimmy. Jimmy just a bitch. So I don't like him no more. Can you have mm. you tell the difference when Trey step on the field? The offense messed with him. Man, Jimmy on the field, you don't know what the fuck happening, bro. That boy D boy <laughs> getting mad. Like Jimmy, Jimmy falls under pressure every time. That boy, he when the Trey reason got why in, Trey doesn't fold. Trey makes it happen. He the reason why Killer got injured. I know what play he got injured on. Man, Jimmy. I mean, but that. you gotta think about it. They, he doesn't. He doesn't like. Okay, if we being realistic, it's like. With Trey Lance, the 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 line don't have the block as long because he's mobile, right? Yeah. But mm-hmm. with like with Jimmy G, bitch, you got a block. You feel me? Because he's a pocket quarterback. You feel what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, none of them three hundred fifty fat niggas want to just keep blocking the whole time. Mm-hmm. So of course they go fuck with Trey Lance. At the same time, though, when I block dude <laughs> collapse, that but Trey Lance be pocket present uh, inside his pocket. I can go to site for the take up. This man, Jimmy, is pray, pray to goddamn God. All the porno stars he has sex with and throw that bit or do something with it. Mm-hmm. That motherfucking um, Jimmy G might lose his job, boy. You know what I'm That's why I said, like, like I, I, I see it. Towards the end of the year, like, when for, let's say, say like this. I'm going to put a scenario base. There's hope they don't get to this record. But let's say, like, they 10 games in and their record is, like, Four and six, mm. or like, or like they four and five, because this is literally the same exact scenario Lamar was in his rookie year. Joe Flacco, beam, he happened to get hurt, but they four and five. Lamar came in, they end up. I think Lamar end up winning the last because it's like nine or eleven games up. They yes. Lamar end up winning like the last eight out of the last nine games and got him in the playoffs. So, I kind of see that happen with the 49ers in this situation. Now, I say Jimmy G gets hurt, but I don't say Jimmy G get benched. That's kind of what I'm predicting right now. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Looking, for, looking oh. into Jimmy G get benched and Trey Lance end up saving the 49ers season. I feel That's like a captain is right, right now. Mm. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. He he looked like Kaepernick on the field. I feel like he, but he like. I ain't gonna lie, it's like, been a minute like since Kaepernick y'all had a nigga who can run. Uh, Kaepernick like six four. Trey Lance like six four too. Yeah, I thought Trey uh, Lance Kaepernick was like six one, six two. I he, thought Cap was six three. Yes. I think Cap is six three. Mm-hmm. Cap like six three, two hundred thirty pounds. But those like two big ass QBs though. That could move. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bro, Mo he tore too. Green Bay up that year, bro. You remember that shit? Oh, oh man. Yeah. That's who Playoff game. game. Uh, and that's when the RPO first came out, really. Yeah. Cause like, and, and, and bro, you got to think about that. it. That's the biggest thing that be pissing me off, right? Because if we really think about it, right, at the beginning of, you know, the NFL, you know, the creation of the NFL, these niggas were saying that black, black men couldn't be fucking quarterback. They were just saying we couldn't be quarterbacks at all, right? And who running this fucking league right now? Black quarterback. Black Titans, right? So then on top of that, right, I've been watching college football. I know, you know, we on NFL, but I'm going to just push this in here. Now, we got a black quarterback that played for uh, the University of Eastern Wa- uh, Washington. Mm-hmm. My nigga threw seven touchdowns, bro, 600 yards. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. I seen a black that. quarterback, bro. Don't play, man. Like, that's why I said it's like all that whole weak ass. Oh, I, I have all the scholarships because my dad knows people and I can play quarterback. No more of that shit, bro. We're going to have another hood nigga from Florida to be five as fuck that quarterback. You feel me? Like, it's, exactly. it's, I don't know, bro. I'm just done with the whole little prep kid that can play a little quarterback. Now nah, he done made it. I'm sick of that shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These uh, um, kids that's not our color that play quarterback better than us. Because, like, they make it seem like all we want to do is just run the ball when we have QB. No, bro. There are actually colored quarterbacks that can do more than just run the ball. Then we actually got colored quarterbacks that sit there in the pocket and just dot you up, and there's nothing you can do about it. Bro, but look at Justin. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Justin Fields. He'll just sit in that pocket and just dot you up. He will not move at all. If you give him a nice, decent pocket, like, for example, I'm, me and Dad's Ohio State fans. Like, last year, well, we played Clemson, and they had hit, and they had hit my boy. My boy was out for about like a play or two. He came back. That man was not running no more. He went and dot that shit up. They <laughs> were not. Hey, I, I, I came back. Whole new man. What? Fuck moment ever, bro. Just watching Justin like it was like almost like, all right, Justin, you just got to punch in the mouth. What you finna do about that? I'm gonna show bro, that the, the shit look beautiful. Like when he when he throws, bro, just everything looks like art. Literally, I said the same exact shit. I'm like, bro, the way this man play football is like art, bro. It's like painting a picture in the sky. Like mm-hmm. beautiful, he, like because like the way he release it is just nice. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's the thing. It's like it's no more of that just thinking we just you know offensive weapons and shit. Like we could play the, the quarterback with IQ. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, snap, what happened? Your man got disconnected. Where you landed out? Yeah. I'll just end it right here. End it right here? Yeah. Oh, oh, let me start that. Right. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, like man. Now, nah, just go ahead and end it, bro. Like hey, it. we appreciate everybody tuning in to our episode, man. We appreciate our special guest, Zoe, coming in, talking it up with us. <laughs> yeah, all right, no. Sure. This is the Retire Happy Podcast. Be sure you guys go like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Retire Happy Podcast. It's your boy Lowe's. There's yeah. Frank, Anto, and we out. Right.